Welcome back to my channel guys, now this is going to be my Beefcake External TC and I'm going to try and speed this bit up so because most of you know how this works but I'm going to show you the other people that don't know. So the way the disconnectable external TC works is if this is your main base as an example and your TC gets broke, you cannot place your TC down anywhere in the base until you come over into this base over here and you break this low wall here, this twig low wall break that once that's been broken you can come back to your main base and you can place your TC back down once you've placed your TC back down in your main base you should come back over to this base your external TC base and place this twig low wall okay and then you are then protected um, and now I'll give you a quick tour of the beefcake base as it is so I've got this new entrance type here most people aren't gonna like this but you never know someone might so I put it in anyway um, what it is is you can't get in unless you put your twig floor down um, don't know if it's good or bad some people might like it some people think it might be just a pain if it's a pain just make it stone guys it's no big deal um, up to you obviously you've got a standard airlock and then coming into this first room, I've just put this here you can, just for getting through, but you can put whatever you want. Obviously, if you've got a piece of glass, you can remove the glass, and then to go on top, you put your twig spirals. The first person I think I've seen do this with square foundations at a window, I think, was Odawa from My Gaming Addiction. So uh, I'll put a link to his channel in the description down below because... It's got to be worth a shout out because he's awesome anyway. Comes up with loads of cool stuff. So that is that bit done. Next up, we're moving into this part. So the way this works, obviously you've got a window to peek out on this side. I mean, you can put a metal embrasure on there if you want. Same on this side, you've just got some side peaks. And then on here, you've got, um, if you remove the glass, you can see out there if your base was bigger, you would able to see up on. If not, you can always jump up on these and just get little bit better of an angle also I'm going to show you you can also see down through this window in a minute I'm going to show you now this um, bunker here um, I think the first person that designed this was Dirac Dirac I'm not sure how he pronounced his name I'll put a link to his channel in the description down below he done a triad bunker which uses three um, HQM roofs um, so I've done this with two HQM roofs but the problem is um, it leaves a gap underneath this uh, vending machine. So I've used vending machines to cover up the hole, which is good. And I've got a new way of sealing off so people can't place twig, which I'm going to show you now. So what you do is, as you can see, you can't place twig. That means a raider wouldn't be able to place the twig. So let's go downstairs and have a look. So what we would do is we would have a bag in here, which I have left out. So... Make sure you get a bag in here, guys. I uh, wonder if I can squeeze one in there. Yeah, okay. there we go. So make sure you've got a bag in there because you're going to need it. And then to access your twig, you would have to break it from here. And then to replace the twig, um, it doesn't let you place it from far away. Uh, there it is. Some, if it's ever red, um, so sometimes you've got to just jump like that to make it go blue. So it does let you place the twig as you can see so that's how you reconnect your external TC then jumping through this can be a little bit tight but always try and stay on the stair side always find if you stay on the stair side you don't get stuck I have got stuck in there before um, I just have to wiggle out so just keep on the stair side and you will just pass through so we've got some storage in there we've got um, a workbench in the honeycomb and we've got some furnaces in the honeycomb and we've got let's get back to the bunker bit so the way I've sealed this bunker to stop you placing the twig, I've used two tuna cans. As you can see, the tuna cans go up underneath the vending machines. So all you do is you um, remove the two tuna cans and then come down here. And it will let you place the floor triangle like so. Oh, there, it can be a bit, there we go. Got it. And that opens it up like so and you are out and then obviously you can break it on this side and seal it back up and I'll just quickly show you how to place the tuna cans for anyone that's interested um, yeah I got the tuna cans on me so what I do is I think I place this one first on this side so I butt right up into this corner 
and then I place the tuna can on the far side of this um, stairs post as I can but see on the top of the tuna can there's a dip um, I'll highlight the dip for you now it's there and you line up that dip with the top of the twig frame as you can see which I have done there and then place that then you can move to this side and get crouched into this corner and you do pretty much the same so you place it on the right hand side of the post this time and get the dip which is here lined up with the twig there and place that and then all you do is break the twig once the twig's broke you cannot place that down like so you see the lantern through there and you can see it through there that's actually the vending machine there anyway so that's how I've sealed it and yeah I um, hope you guys like it you got some good views oh I don't know what I'm on about I've just left one thing out haven't I where the TC is how clever of me so what we've got here guys is we have courtesy of my friend old FKN FKR showed me this one it's an old one but a good one and all I've done is I've just chucked one bag, a little bit of storage, and a TC in here, and just made it sheet metal. And we have a barbecue. So then all you do is when you're out here, you just open the barbecue, chuck some in, your TC upkeep or whatever, and spawn inside your suicide bunker, and pick up the stuff, and then put it in your TC. So that's it, guys. Um, not actually going to make the build for this one um, it's pretty simple um, you just come out five squares from the base well six if you include this one one two three four five six and then you do these triangles here and just remove the middle one and place that there um, if anyone is desperate for me to make this if if people really like it and really wanted me to make this uh a build video then I'm more than happy to do that but I just wanted to get this one out so I can start moving on to another build hope you guys like it and I will catch you guys later